guys, so today I thought I would do a quick first impressions review of the new Youth to the People mask, which is called the Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. So I finally got this in the mail and my birthday present since my birthday was kind of a downer. Uh, I didn't get to do anything I wanted to because of everything that's going on. So to uh, boost my cheer, I ordered the Drunk Elephant set. Although I did have the Rouge coupon, so I didn't pay for all of them. But they all finally came. Let me see if I can show you or not. Hang on. Well, they're all right here. You'll see them when I rinse off. So anyway, that was my way to kind of make my birthday not quite as depressing as... It really was. So anyway, on to the You to the People mask, which is a uh, resurfacing mask. So they recommend applying a cl uh, thin layer to clean skin uh, and then recommend leaving it on for two to three minutes, which allows the enzymes to activate and then uh, rinse off and use one to three times a week. So I'm going to start out by cleansing and then I'll apply the mask. Uh, for a good cleanser, I think I'm wearing a good amount of makeup, so I think I'm going to apply or use the uh, Catalabo oil as my first step. And then as my second step, I think I'm going to go with the Hand Skin Hyaluronic Pop Cleanser. So bear with me while I cleanse for a minute here, although I always try and make it as fast as possible. Sometimes it's just not always easy. Although I really only had sunscreen on and powder. I don't think I put any eye makeup or anything else on today, so. Okay, now I'm going to apply the foam cleanser. Oh, can, I, can you see the drunk elephant stuff now? Probably not. I don't know. Right here. Anyway. Once I get to try that more, I'll give the full deets on it. Okay, so they would recommend applying it to a damp face. So I'm just going to kind of lightly blot it and then hopefully get the camera to refocus. Da -da -da. Okay, so now I've got damp skin. I'm going to apply the Use to the People mask, a very thin layer. Jar packaging I'm not too fond of, but you already know that. So there's what it looks like, kind of like a Almost looks like a pineapple paste. Actually, I think there is pineapple in this mask. Pineapple, and I think bamboo is one of the other ingredients. And bamboo is having a minute right now. Definitely tingling a little bit, so... got some enzymes. I can feel the enzymes kind of tingling. And it's a really soft, soft the word, a soft exfoliant. Although it's still exfoliating. I've been trying so many exfoliants lately. What's up with that? Huh. It's a little odd. In the last week I've gotten like several to try. 
So this was one of them, the Good Molecules Pineapple Powder, which is a really, really fine exfoliant. Uh, very fine. So if you like a little bit of scrubbiness, you can add a little bit of less water with this one. And if you like a little bit less, you can add more water, but it's a very fine powder. The Holly Frog Poppy Wash that recently came out is another scrub exfoliant. This one was very um, coarse, very strong. Be and because of that, I wasn't super in love with it. Although uh, a couple of people recommended mixing it with another cleanser and using it that way. So I'm gonna take them up on that idea. Um, and I would say just from one minute of using this, this one lies somewhere in between the two. It's not super coarse. It's more of like a fine powder, but it's a little bit more scrubby than the good molecules. So anyway, I feel like it's got a little bit of the physical exfoliation going on and it's got lactic acid on the ingredient list. So you're getting some um, perhaps chemical exfoliation. I guess that depends on the pH. Uh, maybe I should take that. I wonder if I've got my pH strips close by. I was, oh, here they are. I guess I'll just do a, you know, normally you would want to do the pH test with a little bit of water since you're applying it onto damp face. So it's as similar to use as possible. So I'll do a little bit of that. And then I'm going to rinse this off. Okay, so I took a little swab of it. I'm just going to mix it with a touch of water. And then we'll find out what the pH is. Okay, I'm going to rinse this off while that pH test is being conducted. Oh, you guys can't see me. Sorry. Come on, camera. Sorry, this is not my finest work. I'm so sorry. Certainly a mask that would be eat much easier and stuff in the shower. Because of how fine it is, it just feels like it takes a bit more effort to rinse off. Okay, so in terms of the pH, it is about 5. So, you're not going to get much exfoliation from the lactic acid in it. So, if you're buying that... Don't buy it for physical exfoliating. Buy it, no, don't buy it for chemical exfoliating. Buy it for physical exfoliating. Because it really does do a nice job of that. So now that I've rinsed most of it off, I'm going to go with another bamboo product. The Keep Cool and Soothe Toner. And then after that, I'll see how my skin feels. But my skin feels pretty nice. It certainly will be a mask I use before the shower. Because rinsing that off in the sink is a bit of tedious work but my skin feels really nice and soft so it looks a little bit pink which I guess it's probably just from the exfoliation but it looks and feels really nice it doesn't feel dry or anything which is a problem with a lot of exfoliants I end up look feeling dry and flaky right afterwards when my skin feels nice and soft and uh, has a bit of a glow, a pink glow, I guess, which I'll take. So, I don't know. I guess it's a decent product for a nice, 
quasi-gentle physical exfoliation. It does tingle a little bit, but it really the pH isn't quite there for any chemical exfoliation to take place. But it does feel nice and soft and uh, I would say they recommend using it one to three times a week. I would say if you have sensitive skin, maybe once a week or at most twice a week, maybe three, leave three days in between. And if you don't have sensitive skin, you can probably use it two or three times a week without any issues. But I'm really quite happy with uh, how my skin feels afterwards. It does feel nice. It doesn't feel dry. And uh, yeah, next time I'm absolutely going to rinse it off in the shower though. Because I, although I think I got most of it, it's still kind of annoying. So anyway, I guess those are my thoughts today on the new You to the People mask. And I'll do a full review after I've had much longer to try it. But I know some of you were asking about this. So, but it, uh, lots of exfoliants this week. So stay tuned for more reviews tomorrow. Thank you guys so much.